ACC um, with the diversity of the offenses mm -hmm. to go from the Georgia Tech to the Washington to, to now Syracuse. Um, what, what have you seen from them so far, and how difficult is that for your players to make that transition? Uh, well, we'll find out how difficult it is. Um, you know, I, I think our guys have a good understanding of, you know, what they're getting into this week, and uh, obviously Syracuse is is off to a great start, uh, undefeated and averaging close to 50 points a game, and uh, you know, create a lot of uh, challenges to you, to you defensively, and uh, they got good players, great quarterback. Uh, an experienced uh, team, uh, both sides of the ball, and obviously a lot of confidence after having uh, whooped us last year. So um, I think our guys are excited about the challenge. Uh, you know, I think they were, were, you know, we had a good outing last week and a uh, good rhythm the last few weeks. Uh, again, just a different type of preparation, obviously, different type of scheme, structure, all those types of things. So. Uh, but uh, I think our guys are looking forward to you know the opportunity to to uh, see how we match up. What are they doing in the game that, that's so difficult for other teams? To uh, just you know creating a lot of space, and uh, they got good players, a quarterback that knows what to do. So the ball gets there fast. Uh, their ability to run the ball, um, whether it's quarterback as a runner, um, design runs or buying time with his legs, those are those are the toughest guys to defend, you know, and they can do both. Throw the ball down the field with accuracy and and uh, you know have the designed quarterback run game that requires extra hats to stop. And uh, you know, and again just the, the overall uh, moxie and uh, intangibles, the instincts, you know, decision making, things of that nature that uh, Dungey uh, presents. He's an excellent player. Coach, uh, they, they go super fast tempo wise. Mm -hmm. um, how, how difficult and challenging is that um, to, to get your, your guys in? Uh, rotate. You got to be quite so many uh, players in the first half. Yeah, you can only rotate when they rotate. So, uh, you know, if, if, they're, if they're getting guys in there, you're allowed, they give you time to get guys in there. So, uh, if they're not, then you're not. So, uh, if their guys are playing every snap and they're playing really fast, and in my, my mind, we should be able to do the same thing. So I think the biggest thing is, you know, knowing what to do, getting their hand in the dirt, having a sense of urgency, uh, to get down and and, uh, and play technique, play fast. Is the challenge oh, I think that's all, all of it's a big challenge. Uh, you know, otherwise, why do they do it? You know, the advantage is gained when when you're not ready. You know, the, if you're ready, there's no there's no advantage. So uh, you know, getting them a call is a, is a big deal, and then and then they'll check the sideline, and see what you're in, and then getting the right call offensively. That's that's why they do what they do. See what you're in, get you not lined up, first of all. So you're not playing in your gap, you're not playing with technique, you're not playing your assignment. Okay, so you're no good in the run, you're no good in the pass, and. Uh, and then after that is, is uh, you know now they can go 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 and then check, and uh, so now they know what you're in. So you said if uh, what's your favorite call, Coach Elliott versus Cover Two, you know he they have the advantage to get to their favorite call versus Cover Two. And if you're hurrying 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 and getting lined up, there's no chance to disguise right because you anticipate the ball to be snapped right now. So, you know, they, there's an there's a inherent uh, systematic advantage. So, to me, the goal is to take away the advantage by knowing what to do, getting lined up, playing with technique, uh, just having a sense of desperation and urgency to get lined up and be in position to, to uh, you know, just to play good, fundamental, sound football. Are there any positions on defense where the starting battle was really tight? You don't know who's going to be this week. I don't know. Something come to mind? I'm asking you. No. Oh, um, well, the quarterback. They switched quarterbacks this week. Some offensive positions you tie up. Did, you, did you think? Players. Did you think that there was a that we were rotating those guys and trying to figure it out? No, sir. I was just. Curious. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Okay. okay.
I'm just, I don't, I'm not being defensive. I'm, I haven't thought about that, you know. We got a group of guys. We got some depth at some positions, not not great depth at others. And uh, you know, we've talked about guys that we feel like are co-starter type guys, at, uh, particularly at linebacker. And uh, you know, really that might be the the one position. You know, Albert's a quality player. Really, Niles Pinkney's coming along. I think uh, you know, I think we've established ourselves at defensive end and good quality depth there. And uh, I think you know, again, we've got. Uh, four good safeties that you know have shown they can play winning football. We got to get better across the board. We're not anywhere close to being as as good as we need to be or capable of being. Uh, we still got a lot of work to do defensively to be a, a good unit, and uh, and hopefully we can be a consistent unit if we're something. So um, everybody's evaluated really daily, but I think that we know who are our really good players, the guys that have earned the right to. To be out there all the time, and and uh, nobody is. If a guy's loafing or not doing his job, you know, we'll, we'll put somebody in there that that can uh, uh, or that wants to do it the right way. So uh, I don't think we have the same uh, issue though that maybe they did at quarterback. Well, it, he's going to practice today, so. I wouldn't say weren't on the radar. I don't think that's necessarily fair to say. Uh, guys like a, a Nolan Turner have come on that we are hopeful. Um, you know, I felt really pretty good about that group of linebackers uh, that we've been playing. Uh, Niles has shown he's gotten, gotten better and better and more trustworthy. Um, you know, obviously uh, Xavier has come on a little bit more. Again, there was a question mark there to some degree. And, uh, you know, I think he's a guy that has noticeably, you know, earned the right to play a little bit more and more. Did you go back and show them video of a year ago? Get sure. When they needed to? Is there been doing that? I mean, it's all of it. <laughs> yeah, it's not just that. It, to me, it starts with, you know, they run their base play. You know, we, we got three runs on the first drive that we don't fit right, that are, that are basic and fundamental to what we do. And we were lined up. We had plenty of time. We were lined up with our hand in the dirt, uh, with our eyes on our key. And we don't fit the run right. Uh, ran a power and a split flow play and, and a zone. And they go for eight and eight and seven. You can't play defense. You know, nothing is good if you don't do those basic fundamental things. So it ain't late in the game. Late in the game is, an app, is, is, is a byproduct of not doing everything else right early in the game, starting with the first drive. And, uh, and you don't get control of the game when you don't make the layups. We're airballing layups. And, uh, and so to me, that's where, that's where it starts. And absolutely, you know, uh, you know, Absolutely, we show it to them. After playing uh, three triple options, mm -hmm. uh, how pivotal is this week for uh, developing your quarterback? Depth? I mean, <clears throat> no matter who we're playing, I think it's still critical that we continue to develop those guys. And uh, they're just challenged in a different way, still high stress. Uh, they'll, they'll be the first ones to tell you that there's a lot of stress. If you don't play well at corner against an option team, if you play soft or timid or unsure of yourself, poor technique, it's uh, you're not going you're not going to stop the option either. Same thing when you're playing the spread. You know, you, if you play soft or timid or unsure of yourself against a team like this, it's the same thing. They'll make you look like a fool, and you won't play good defense. So I think the development as we continue to progress through the season is, is very critical. Going off of that, the, the trio of mm -hmm. freshmen back there. Mm -hmm. really yeah, you'd like to have played them more. Um, we've seen them. Uh, grow and improve in practice, and uh, we'd like to have played them more. But uh, yeah, there's definitely been some improvement and some development. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're definitely you gotta be you gotta be very.
conscious of that. I think a year ago we went on a day less, or uh, you know, we had the same amount of practices, but you know, you had you know one less day to prepare. Traveling up there, but uh, Brent, you mentioned uh, you mentioned Xavier a couple minutes ago. Mm -hmm. was somebody, I mean, maybe 20, 30 years ago, it was probably it was probably mostly unthinkable for a freshman to be able to crack a starting or get that much playing time on a team like this. Has something changed in college football and high school football and just the level of recruiting here? I think he's a very talented player, and he's like just like. Trevor is on his side of the ball, just a very developed mentally, physically, uh, you know, fundamentally. You know, he's got you know unique skill set, and I think I, don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, me, I wouldn't sit here and paint it with a broad brush and say something in college football. I'm sure there's been, you know, those guys that are just way ahead of the game for for guys in their their class, and uh, and he's one of those kind of guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chad Smith um, ejected for targeting the other day. Um, is, is that something that you, how, how regularly do you discuss that with your guys? Not a whole lot. You know, not a whole lot. We'll, we'll look at that play and say, hey, look, here's what they're saying you did wrong. So we got we to gotta fix it. Uh, From a technique standpoint, it's not something like every day in practice you talk about. Well, we, we, we practice the fundamentals of tackling every day we do. And uh, we're not practicing uh, quarterback scrambling and if he's you know four inches shorter than you and you're trying to tackle him you know you know turn your face away from him we're not practicing that uh, but just one of those plays so we gotta gotta be smart Anybody else? All right. Thanks, yep you bet